Hey, what's up, you guys? Welcome back to Team APS. I'm Paul. I'm Alex. And I'm Alec. And today we are opening Legendary Hero decks. Legendary. Huh, a little early, isn't it? A little early indeed. This is actually a week early. This product releases next week, fortunately. Oh, yeah, there was a slowdown in North Carolina where they print. Yeah, but Konami sent us this ahead of time to open for you guys. This is the fourth Legendary Hero Dex product, I believe. Ooh. Yeah, because I mean, there's been like Legendary Dragons. There's like Legendary Yugi. There's been a lot of different ones. And this year, it comes with three unique decks, kind of like what they started last year. The Legendary Heroes themselves. Yep, we've got Phantom Knights. Destiny Heroes. And Nordics. So, before we rip this open, let's take a look at the back. You get, of course, the different decks. It's fully compatible with all the cards you already own. We can dispense some dueling justice. Justice. So what these decks do you guys like the most? I'm pretty much a fan of Destiny Heroes. I've always liked them. They've always been okay to play. I like Nordics because they're synchro based and I kind of am a little impartial to synchros. I've never played any of these decks. Oh, so this is all kind of new to you? Yeah. And you get Phantom my Knights. Most, my, the most friends out of Phantom Knights I played against PK Fire. Truthfully, I don't know much. Oh, wow, three Link monsters in the, off the top. I actually don't know very much about, like, what's in this product. I haven't gotten a whole, like, I haven't read the leaks and all that stuff, so this is actually going to be new to me. What's he holding? Which one? Oh. Huh. That's Extra Hero Dread Decimator, Gullavik of the Nordic right. Dread Decimator. And the Phantom Knights of Rusty Bardic. So, I, all right, I'm interested in all of these. Less. Is there anything else in here? Like anything else? No, I think a ban list. A ban list is in my name. This is why this is why they're always so late. You'll be able to find them first. Yeah. They yeah, accidentally put it in that shipping uh They were shipping only hidden in one piece. Oh, and we're gonna be sleeving our cards as well. Yes, in these very nice Kaiba Corporation. Okay, what are we opening first? I suggest the very first Let's one. Let's go Nordic. Here. Nordic? Yeah, that one. Okay, Nordic. I haven't school. seen Nordics in years, so I'm actually very curious. Yeah, that's yeah. high school. Yeah, Nordics are actually old. They're from 5D? I had a buddy, yep. uh, Emery, who's played Nordics. I hated it when he summoned them. Because they have the three Nordic god monsters, right? Mm -hmm. I played my old god deck against a Nordic player. He summoned Thor. I had Obelisk. Thor won. <laughs> oh, I was hoping for like some crazy epic. It was because I was a really young, dumb player back then. So this is Gullivig of the Nordic Ascendant, and it's a Link monster actually, which is pretty cool. Gullivig. So if it's Link summoned, you can banish the three cards from your hand and or field, and if you do, you special summon that many Nordic monsters from your deck and defense position. Oh. But you can only summon Acer monsters for the rest of the turn. What's okay, the so Link requirement? You can only make the Acer. It takes zeros. just one level five Nordic monster. It only has one arrow. Huh. That's decent. I and while it points to a Nordic, your opponent can't target that monster with card effects. Also, it can't target this. So this is okay. It's not kind of a low oh, commitment. That thing. just reminded me. The goat. That was the one that everyone knows. Oh, yeah, because it's summoned two tokens mm -hmm. and people would synchro with them. Cool. Okay. Speaking so. of goats. Oh, look. Oh, yeah, there he is. Who knows how to say You know how to say it, so I'm guessing. Nasher, right? right? Something Nasher? Tangrisnir? Tangrisnir of the Nordic Beast. Yeah, when it gets destroyed and sent to the graveyard, you summon two Nordic Beast tokens. Sounds like two I thought that was supposed to be one of Thor's. The goats? Yeah, it's one of them. But they didn't, they changed the name, of course. Oh, okay. Dark Hole? Kind of a random ultra rare. Like, it's, usually you would think they'd give it, like, a themed I mean, that's I It gets a job, though. What's that? Ooh, what's that? Ascension. Okay, this is actually a big deal. Ascension Sky Dragon, this used to actually be a prize card. And oh. so, to see it reprinted here is quite nice. In the Nordic deck of all things. When it's synchro summon, it gains 800 attack for each card currently in your hand. So it can get pretty big. And when it gets destroyed by an opponent's card and sent to the grave, all the monsters that were used for its summon are in your GY. You can special summon them all, but their effects do get negated, so... I don't assume means you can do their summon. Oh, other Master of Four, it's a little more difficult, but... Nice, and then... Ooh, I love this Coral Dragon. Coral Dragon? This is actually really nice. This was a needed reprint, I would say. I'm taking We never time. did get a Coral Dragon. I'm actually happy. I think we have recently pulled one. Oh, Paul, oh, really? Maybe. I have Coral Dragon in one of my decks. Yo. So these are the five Ultra Rares that you get. We can sleeve these up. And we'll quickly go through the rest of the cards in here if you're a Nordic player. Goatman! We've got Trend Grisner. Ten Oh, I'm going to mess these names up. Alec, help him. I can't see it. Can you see? Do you know how to pronounce his name? Ten yeah, no, nah, you good, you good. Okay, thanks. Another one, Garmer. Garmer! If it battles level four lower monster, you can return the monster to the maybe, hand. Maybe the, the second R is silent? 
So is this Garm? Goldfax of the Nordic Beast. <laughs> can summon itself. Dverg. I like how you get multiples, unlike in those like starter decks. It kind of feels like it's like a structure. Like it's actually meant to be played like out of the box. We should. Should we? Mm. Mm. The Jal Staff of the Nordic Alfar. I don't know what you just said to me. <laughs> I, I think. Um, Zvoltarf of the Nordic Alfar. Oh, that's right. For each of the uh, Nordic synchros, they have their own sub archetype. Yep. I never knew that. That's actually new. Yeah, yeah there's a the Nordic Beast, beast the Nordic Alfar, and the Nordic Ascendant. Yeah, you're oh. about right. The more you know. Thank Nibir. you, Emery. Valkyrie. I remember this was kind of a big deal. People would like use. I think it was this one. Vanitas of the Nordic Ascendant, Tyre of the Nordic Champions. Tyr. What is a Nordic Tyr. Champion? That's I just made a name already. In effect. What the Nordic Champions oh. are? Then the Nordic Lights. Beautiful. Nordic monsters in the field can't be destroyed by battle, but if this gets destroyed, you destroy all Nordic monsters in the field. And ah! I don't know about that. That's a 2005 effect. Nordic Relic Dropnir. Two copies. March towards Ragnarok. Forbidden Chalice is a nice printing. Forbidden Lance. Dress. Forbidden Dress. For this all is a nice the forbidden. Trio. Actually, there's a really good trio for the in here. Monster Reborn, in case you haven't gotten it already. Comes common. Boy, legal. So, oh, wow. Soul Charge. Also legal. Hey, I didn't know this was reprinted. Also legal. Hey, well, I guess it's new, so it's, of course. MST. Glipnir, the Fetters of Fenrir. Ooh. It's actually their Rota, but it's a trap, so it's a little bit slower. That said, it's chainable, so if your opponent like MSTs it, you can just be like, ah, oh, chain. Uh -huh. Nordic Relic of Brits, Brits and Gaman. Ooh, come on, Paul, you gotta do better than that. The people in the comments are gonna light me up. Uh, Nordic Relic La Lavatin. 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 I've, I've seen that card way too many times in my life. Yeah, I've Nordic really Relic Gungnir. I, I can't say that, because there's a Yu Gi Oh! monster. Gungnir. And that. Nordic Relic Megan Jord. Megan Jord. Yo, I think. In the J sound like a Y for them? Uh, I'm pretty sure it is. Yeah. Solemn Authority. Oh wait, this isn't actually a Solemn. It's, it's, it's <laughs> yeah, an, an it's Acer thing. And then, oh, okay, it's so we thorough. so we get these guys. Nice. This is Odin's Thor, son. Loki, Odin. These probably should have been ultra rare, don't you think? Yeah. Well, the original Thor. printings were hot enough, so I guess. It's okay that we got them reprinted, because I don't think they really have been. Leo, Keeper of the Sacred Tree. Beelzeus. Belzeus? They got Belzeus in there? Wait, that Beals and Belzeus. Oh! And Scrap Dragons. Belz is one of my favorite synchros. I'm yes. Actually, it was my favorite. Hot deck. I like this. Like, you. This is giving you what? One, two, three, four, five, seven. Ten cards in your extra deck, like, off the bat. And gave you all the god cards. Yeah, like, that's actually pretty cool. Like, Konami, I've always said, needs to start including, like, actual extra decks in these products and stuff. So that people can like really use them out of the box. So this is a good start yeah, for them. That's nice. Okay, we started off strong with Nordic. So Nordic's good. Uh, overall, I'd say like seven out of ten. It seems like some of their cards have somewhat I give older it an effects. Eight, because a lot more than I expected. I give it a six because I expect better. Well, uh, I guess we just ran. Well, I'll be the one using them in the theme goals. Okay. Either that, or I'll use Phantom Knights. I'm not sure which. Okay, Phantom Knights. So they get a new Link Monster. This is supposed to actually be a pretty good one. So. People always did like Phantom Knights, so they'll be happy for the support. Yeah, Phantom yeah, Knights are Yeah, it's Tekken Burning Abyss. Yeah, they, they do get Tekken Burning Abyss quite a lot. But they can be Tekken a lot of things, so... Like their we'll own see. deck. I always like that Silent Boots card. So, we've got the Phantom Knights of Rusty Bardic. Now, its effect's actually pretty good, but it is a Link 3. It takes 2 plus Dark Monsters, so it is actually generic. Ish. And during your main phase, you can send a the Phantom Knights monster from your deck to the GUI. Then set a Phantom Knight Spell or Trap directly from your deck to your spell and trap. That's really good. You know what we were saying earlier? Every deck needs a Neptibus? That's right. Here That's we go. basically what this is. Um, if a Dark Xyz monster is special summoned to a zone this card points to, while this is on the field, you can target a card on the field and destroy it. Oh! Wow. Huh. But he can't be used as Link Materials. So. Is that not a hard once per turn? It is, unfortunately. Oh, okay. Okay. Dang. It has to be somewhat fair. Alright. Twin, twin Twisters? Not. Bad. Ultra Ray looks pretty good for this card, I'd say. Mm -hmm. Um, the Phantom Knights of Mist Claws. Ah. Target a banished Phantom Knights monster, add it to your hand. Makes sense because they banish yeah. themselves. When an opponent's monster declares an attack while this is in your GUI, you can target a level 4 level Phantom Knight in your GUI, summon it, and then summon this card as a normal monster with the same level as that one. 
but oh. vanish it when you lose a field. So this will help you make new Xyz monsters. Combo Xyz. And then we get the Phantom Knights of Break Sword. And I remember when it. this was hard to get. It was the card. Yeah, this was actually really expensive. Hey, and you got this just this weekend. Did I waste money on this? No. <laughs> yeah, they. This kind of strange. No. They reprinted. No. Is that Rongo Minion? Minion? <laughs> yeah, it's Rongo Minion. <laughs> Yeah, Alex was like freaking out last weekend or so because he like didn't have this card and now it's like, here it is. And it looks really nice. Look at the ultra rare printing. Mm -hmm. Oh, he's on the floor dead. <laughs> uh, anyway, I think it looks nice. Uh, All right, and now we'll go through the rest pretty quick. So Phantom Knights of Ancient Cloak, Silent Boots, Ragged Gloves, Cloven Helm, Fragile Armor, Ancient... Oh, they're, they're kind of out of order. The other one, they were in order, but this time they're kind of different. So basically, if you don't know how Phantom Knights work, they can all banish themselves from the grave to get other effects, usually searching cards. Another Silent Boots, another Ragged Gloves. Oh, okay, so that ordering is like the same, but you just repeat it. Armageddon Knight, very good for sending them to the grave. Rescue Fairy? Hey, I like it. Okay. Rescue Fairy. Yeah, levels do kind of move around. You can do that. Kagemucha Knight. Kakudududu. Mm -hmm. doo. Effect Veiler, always a very good staple to have. Actually, a very popular hand trap right now, to be honest. It's it's solid, not Red perfect. But solid. Rank up magic launch. This is this the one that I don't like. Yeah, this is the one that like used to beat me all the time on Wigo Pro, like <laughs> with the AI tools. That card by itself. Phantom Knight Spear, Dark Hole, Reborn, Foolish, Rhoda, Dark. Ro wow, they're giving you good spells in here. Like to be honest, these are all really good. To run this deck. Fog Blade, everyone's favorite trap. Oh, don't I love it? Favorite trap to hate. Um, Phantom Knight's Sword, Phantom Knight's Wing, these boost up their attack. Mm -hmm. Phantom Knight's of Shadow Veil, Shade Brigandine, which actually is used in Gokies, funny enough. If you don't have any trap cards, I think, you can summon it basically from your hand. Phantom Knight's of Dark Gauntlets, Tome Shield, Lost Vambrace, Wrong Mag Magnetron. Eh. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Oh, okay, and we actually get an extra deck with this as well. Okay. They really don't need the draw. It's gonna this. be a theme. The Phantom Knights of Cursed Javelin, Dark Rebellion Exige Dragon, Dark Requiem, which you can rank up into. Mm -hmm. Evil Swarm Nightmare. Mm -hmm. Evil Swarm Thanatos. Come on, where's Exotod? Oh, okay. And something that a lot of people are actually really excited about, Dante. Common Dante. Common Dante. you know what kind of deck this is supposed to be. Yeah, <laughs> get your you're really this ready. This is probably what you should build with this. So that is Phantom Knights. And now, final the deck. Final one. The one everyone's probably most excited Which one's for. this again? Destiny Heroes. Oh, yeah. It is called Legendary Hero Decks. So. D draw is all I know. All right. Extra Hero Dread Decimator. It takes two heroes, gains 100 attack for other heroes at points, too. If it attacks a defense, but it's a monster, it pierces. Oh, that's kind of. And all it does? Okay. Ultra Rare Malicious. I think it's the arrows that are so good because it takes. It's oh, yeah. like all three down. Yeah, you get to use that. Malicious. Disc Man. Commander with its new errated text that limits its effect a bit. Once per duel. And uh, Destiny... Wait, is this once per duel? I think so. Oh, it is once per duel, yeah. Destiny Draw. And not limited I all. like Ultra Malicious and Ultra... Like, that's a hot combo. Yeah, Destiny Draw looks great right now. And then, oh, Extra Hero Wander Driver. What is this? Ooh. Another new card. A Link Monster with up and down arrows and a long effect that recycles spells. So it's probably useful. So it's probably useful. Hero players will know. Then we've got Destiny Hero Dogma. Oh, don't miss Plasma, that. Plasma. Dreadmaster. Oh, you get Another more Malley. malicious. Celestial. Diamond Dude. Like Dread Diamond Servant. Dude. Dark Angel. Dynatag. Dynatag? That's oh, is that the new ones? Oh, yeah, these are new. Yeah, Dynatag so and yeah. Drill Dark. Yep, the new ones. Decider. Dreamer. D cubed. That's a, oh, that's a cute It's that Rottweiler, basically. Oh, they actually get three. Shadow Mist is in here, okay. It's heroes, baby! So who wants to call Dark Law being in the extra deck? I mean, I mean, guessing. it's gotta be, right? Blaze Man gets a reprint. Blaze up! Uh, Destiny Draw. So two of them, okay. Over Destiny. Clock Tower Prison. Oh, God. Woo! The city. Oh, these are some really old ones. Mass Change, okay. They dig yeah, Dark Law's Wait, in here. where's Mass Change 2? You don't oh, need that. that you don't need that in this deck, really. Okay, she nice to know. Polymerization, two of them. Reborn, Magical Stone, Terraforming, recently semi-limited, so this yeah. makes sense. Feather of a Phoenix, Destiny Signal. D time. Time for the D. Aww. Eternal Dread. Two another copies. Eternal Dread. Double Eternal Dread. Defusion. Defusion. Here we and go. Destiny and Dragoon. Destiny Hero Dusktopia. 
by two. Dystopia. Dystopia guy. Dangerous. And here he is. Dark Knight. Hey, Blah, it's your boy. And Donkey. Donkey. Nice. So, all of these give you a full 10 card extra deck, which I think is kind of incredible, to be honest. And I wonder how balanced these decks are. Like, towards to amongst like each a, other. For like a theme duel, you know? Yeah. We can find out, actually. Yeah, that's If you guys want us to do a theme duel with these, uh, let's say, how many likes? Thousand likes. Six. Oh, okay. Thousand likes. That's better than six. Thousand likes, and we will do theme duels. Wait, let's meet in the middle. Six thousand. That's <laughs> not the middle. Which deck are you going to use, Alex? Definitely Destiny Heroes. What about you? Uh, I guess PK? I don't know. And I'll try to use Nordics. I think it'll be fun. All right, anyways, hopefully you guys look forward to that. We've got a giveaway going on, too. Thanks to Konami as well. If you guys want to win a copy of Legendary Hero Decks for yourself, alongside some other awesome stuff from New York Comic Con, all the information is down in the description, so be sure to enter it. It ends really soon. Uh, that's going to be it. Look forward to... Oh, huh? Make sure you get Legendary Hero Decks for you and all your friends so you can play Yu-Gi-Oh! too. Yeah, it's actually probably the best $30 value we've seen in a while. That's true. All three decks, all playable. Reasons all interesting. Next Friday, so... Check it out. That's going to be it. We'll see you guys in the next one. Past turn.